health news about the most popular cosmetic procedure performed in the U.S. The FDA is now investigating a possible link between certain breast implants and a rare form of cancer, playing now for at least nine deaths. NBC's Morgan Radford explains. A wake-up call this morning for the hundreds of thousands of women who undergo breast augmentation each year. The FDA now says certain implants may cause a rare and potentially fatal form of cancer called anaplastic large cell lymphoma, or ALCL. The agency revealed that as of February 1st of this year, there have been a total of 359 cases of ALCL related to breast implants, including nine deaths. Experts say the trouble lies in textured implants versus smooth ones, which are more common. It's very important for the people considering get pre getting breast implants because it tells us how rare it is, and it tells us that it's only about one particular type of implant. So it can help patients in deciding which type of implant they want for their surgery. In 2016, nearly 300,000 women underwent breast augmentation, making it the most popular cosmetic procedure in the U.S. While ALCL has impacted just a small number of patients, the FDA tells NBC News women with breast implants have a very low but increased risk of developing ALCL compared to women who do not have breast implants. The World Health Organization reports on average the cancer can take about 10 years to develop. The FDA did not recommend that women remove breast implants who have them. They recommend that women get regular breast checks like all women should, and that they should in particular look out for one breast swelling, because that's usually the sign of this. A reminder that achieving one's idea of beauty can come with a steep price. For today, Morgan Radford, NBC News, New York. And coming up, a magic.